Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Air power is crucial to any nation when it comes to waging war. Without it, you have lost a great part of your initiative. Aircraft like the A-10 Thunderbolt II are air power personified with all its attack options. Its main gun, aptly named the Avenger, is its most impressive part. And you may not fully comprehend the size of this cannon until you have seen it being installed in the A-10. During maintenance, the gun can be removed and refitted into the A-10 with precision to ensure perfect alignment and function. During the Cold War, the Allies had a problem. It was decided that a new air weapon was needed to stop Soviet tanks rolling into Western Europe. The Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II was born to address exactly this problem. The solution that the A-10 presented was simple but ingenious. Attach the heaviest possible gun to an aircraft. The GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun was chosen and all that was left to do was to design the aircraft. What resulted was an aircraft built around a gun. Why is the Avenger so impressive? It is the size of a Volkswagen and can fire 3,900 rounds every minute. As if the massive Avenger gun was not dangerous enough, the A-10 is also able to carry various rockets, bombs, and missiles. When it comes to attaching bombs to the Thunderbolt II, the aircraft armament system technicians step into the fray. These highly trained technicians attach and arm all armaments attached to the A-10 and do scheduled and unscheduled weapons maintenance. Under the aircraft are positions called hardpoint, to which ordnance is attached. The A-10 also called the Warthog, has 11 hardpoints that can carry 7,260 kilograms of external weapon stores or fuel tanks. Missiles can include the AGM-65 Maverick, one of the most common precision-guided missiles in NATO. Other external stores can include decoy, infrared, or chaff pods, and various types of additional avionics and targeting systems. Not only is the Warthog a lethal attacking aircraft, but it was also built to survive strong ground fire and even missile hits and keep flying. The pilot is safeguarded by a titanium tub, nicknamed the titanium bathtub. This armored structure protects them from any incoming fire from below. Warthogs are built to withstand punishing ground fire. That is because they fly subsonic and low to deliver bursts of fire from their Avenger cannons onto targets, which makes them easier to hit.
The hydraulically driven Avenger cannon can deliver a high rate of fire because its seven barrels rotate and keep any of them from overheating. Ammunition utilized by the Avenger includes armor-piercing incendiary, high-explosive incendiary rounds, or a mix of the two. The A-10 can engage targets at ranges of just over 1,200 meters. When they are not actively engaged in combat, pilots are given an abundance of opportunities to engage in realistic training. The ideal catalyst is provided by training ranges like the Sailor Creek Training Range, which is located close to the Mountain Home Air Force Base. The targets, which are frequently repurposed pieces of military equipment, like tanks or armored vehicles, are fitted with a remote control system that simulates operational movement so that the shooters can practice their aim more effectively. The so-called robotic targets are programmed to move along a predetermined path or under direct real-time control so that they can simulate the enemy's movement patterns. These training sessions are designed to help pilots improve their ability to recognize, track, and engage mobile enemy targets in an environment that is both controlled and realistic. The rounds fired from an A-10 can destroy everything, including armor in their path. To keep these vicious attack aircraft close to the front lines, the U.S. military often uses forward arming and refueling sites to rapidly resupply the aircraft so they can return to the fight. These sites often require the use of austere landing locations for operations. Given the situation, highways and automobile roads can be used as emergency runways. These roads can provide a viable option for pilots to conduct vital operations when traditional airports are not nearby. In these types of situations, training exercises are carried out to familiarize pilots with these events. Through briefings and mission planning, the crew is prepared before entering their aircraft. Allowing them to know the correct setup to operate. This has been seen in exercises like Northern Strike, where highway landings were tested with an A-10 Thunderbolt. A particular purpose-built aircraft that really has no problem landing in any location is the U.S. Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier. Due to the types of missions they conduct, the United States Marine Corps has to be ready as soon as possible, which requires it to launch aircraft in no time. For this reason, AV-8B Harrier aircraft have always come in handy, particularly due to their vertical takeoff and landing capability. The vertical takeoff is achieved using a revolutionary system known as vectored thrust. A powerful turbofan engine rotates its exhaust nozzle to direct the thrust downwards 
providing enough lift to overcome gravity and allow the aircraft to rise vertically. For landing, the exhaust nozzles are rotated downwards to slow the aircraft's descent, allowing it to land vertically. The cost of an AV-8B Harrier jet ranges from $15 million to $30 million, and hence, maintaining these pricey jets is important. These aircraft feature advanced technologies with multiple systems that require regular checks to ensure their safe and efficient operation. Poor maintenance can sometimes lead to malfunctions, breakdowns, and ultimately, accidents. However, if properly maintained, the lifespan of Harrier jets can be extended, which is important because these aircraft are expensive assets of the U.S. military. These capabilities don't just exist and are required within the fixed-wing community. The United States military has the most versatile helicopters in the rotary wing arsenal, such as the twin-engine AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. And remember, we exist for one sole purpose, to support the warfighter on the ground. With a tailwheel-type landing gear and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two, this aircraft was developed in the 1970s as a replacement for the aging AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter. The AH-64's nose-mounted sensors help acquire targets and provide night vision. Moreover, it is armed with various armaments, such as the EM-230 chain gun, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, and Hydra-70 rockets. Similar to the A-10, the AH-64 undergoes phase maintenance after every 500 flight hours. During the maintenance procedure, several components are removed from the AH-64 for inspection. The main rotor, tail assemblies, engines, landing gears, weapon systems, and other structural components are inspected thoroughly, and defective parts are either replaced or repaired. The AH-64 is 58 feet long, with its rotors fully extended and measures nearly 13 feet high, making them larger than other military helicopters, except those used for transportation. Although the AH-64 is designed with wheels, it cannot actually taxi. Instead, it must be towed to and from the hangar Towing a helicopter is a common practice, mainly due to the fact that an additional engine for forward movement would only add weight and use additional space. On the 13th of December, 2017, crew members from Fort Hood, Texas, moved an AH-64 Apache helicopter to the flight line after conducting routine maintenance at Stork Barracks, Illesheim Army Airfield in Bavaria, Germany. The regular and phase maintenance of aircraft is critical to ensure operational readiness and safety.
This not only enhances aircraft longevity, but also safeguards mission effectiveness and the well-being of aircrew. Attack aircraft play pivotal roles in military operations. Therefore, their continuous maintenance through specified maintenance protocols remains indispensable. Despite their differences in design and role, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, AV-8B Harrier II, and AH-64 Apache all share one mission in common, delivering close air support with precision, power, and an unshakable presence on the battlefield. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.